All right, so right now I'm setting up some baby tortoises for shipping. And my friend actually called me. He said that one of the redfoot tortoises that I keep at his house is laying eggs, or at least it's digging. He's not really an expert, uh, but he told me to go check them out to see if they actually were. So I'm gonna go drop these guys off at FedEx and then I'm gonna go check out the redfoots. A little baby redfoot tortoise side right there. I'm just gonna let this guy be because he still needs a little bit of time. Doesn't look like any more of the eggs are hatching. These are all the, the eggs that haven't hatched out from other clutches. I'm pretty sure they're all bad but I'm just keeping them a little bit longer to see if they hatch these as well. Uh, but all the other ones are good. Next thing I want to check are these three because these are the ones that are going to be hatching in the next week or so. There we go. The babies are strapped in and now to go to FedEx. And by the way, uh, these two were just special orders. Uh, there's two high orange redfoots in there, which were my last two. And then one Sokata because the person that pre-ordered it was on vacation when it hatched out. So I wasn't able to ship it out normally uh, with the rest of the babies. But next week, I'm going to be shipping out the rest of the baby Sokatas that were for June pre-order, I think. Or no, the July pre-order is going to be going out uh, June 29th. Uh, they are already hatched out. They hatched out sooner than I expected. So they were ready a little bit earlier. And of course, I message everybody before shipping out. Make sure that everybody's going to be home. And if they're not, then I'll just ship out the babies another day separately from the order. All right, so there we go. I just got here right now and it looks like she's already done digging. Let's see if she actually drops one. That'd be a crazy coincidence. I literally just got here. Look, she's pushing her head and that means it that. Is. She's actually doing this. It's a pretty deep hole. No, no, not sure. You sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really fun. Look, there's another one laying legs over there. And I actually said that kidding, but look at that. She's actually laying eggs. This is one of my favorite ones too. This is the biggest female I have. What a crazy coincidence. Two red foots. Oh, look, they eggs. Here as well. No way, there's another nest. Start digging there, see? Without the roots. I think that was just a test hole. Unless. Yeah, no. Take, my, my red foots don't really dig test holes at my house. No, that's but too, there's, the dirt is too, too Yeah, hard. the dirt at my house is a lot better. Because I put like three inches of dirt and then yeah, no, mulch over it. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah, is crazy. Like, Two at once. And these this is the first time that these tortoises lay eggs. So you guys saw just a few days ago, I uploaded the video of me making this enclosure. So let's see. Hopefully she lays a little bit more. I'm really excited for that one because that's my biggest red foot, my biggest female red foot. So I want to see how many eggs she lays. I was telling my friend earlier though, the females, just because they're bigger doesn't mean that they usually lay eggs. Sometimes though, the bigger females lay big eggs and they, they'll lay less. And then sometimes the small females lay small eggs, but they lay a lot more. Uh, for example, my female Sokata Luna, she lays the most eggs. She lays sometimes up to 30 something eggs and she's my smallest. And my biggest one is Nyx, and she sometimes lays like 20. She usually lays around 20. Shadow, which is uh, my second biggest, she's only laid, she laid 10 one time. So it, it all depends on that individual tortoise, it's not really the size too much. These eggs out. I don't usually collect them for my red foots, but. There's the first egg. So I want to make sure that none of these are correct. And when did she start laying? She, or did, Just she started digging. Oh, she started digging like, started digging like an hour you, ago, right? No, the second you said, oh, she's going to start digging. Yeah. And she literally, the second left. you left, she started digging. Yeah, because you could tell when they're... Because I came earlier today and I saw her walking around the edge. And as soon as I saw that, I knew that she was going to lay eggs today. Um, just the way that she was walking, she was also making like little moaning noises. She was like... Um, it, was, it was like a squeak. She was like <coughs> walking around like that. So oh, I knew that she was about to lay eggs. <laughs> She's doing a little dance now. Um, so this is the, the tortoise that in my making all the enclosures video, 
I said she was about 30 years old. That's what the last owner told me, the one that I got him from. Not sure if that's true or not. He just said that because of how old the age or how uh, old the shell looks. So he wasn't really too sure about it either. Let me see, there's a little rock here. So I usually don't catch my eggs from my red foots, but this uh, this enclosure that they're in now has more rocks than mine, as you can see. So I'm just trying to collect them before they crack them. And these red foots, I've actually never seen lay eggs before. So let's see. And now the red foots, they actually take about five months to hatch out. They're not like the sulcatas. Uh, this one had a little bit of blood on it. I don't know if you saw that. Little blood vessel there. So I, I think that these eggs are a little too big for this female. Oh, this is something that doesn't really happen too much. But I've seen that she's a little, she's forward, uh, pushing it a little bit more. Maybe it's because she is older, I'm not sure. But tortoises, they're not like dogs. Some people were telling me that I overbreed my tortoises because I was posting videos of them laying eggs like uh, every few weeks. And tortoises aren't like dogs. You can't really overbreed them. You could have a male and female tortoise together their whole lives and they'll only lay during the breeding season. They're not gonna just lay every time that they mate. That's not how it works for these animals. All right, let's go check on the other one now. And they're all hovering over this one. That's fun. As long as they're not this one right there. Nothing for this one yet. This is my favorite one, dude. I love this tortoise right here. I'm so happy, I can't wait to see how many eggs she lays. She's huge too. So we'll see, maybe she lays a ton of eggs. This one, this is, I love this tortoise. Look how big she is. So smooth. All right, let's set these eggs up. Gotta get three cups of vermiculite. There we go. Now I'll spray it down with some warm water. And mix it. And that's how you want it. You don't want it too. Firm. You don't want the water to drip out the bottom, and you don't want it to be sandy. You want it to be firm when you let go, just like that. So obviously there's a big container. We're gonna put multiple clutches in here, not individual clutches in each container. I usually do that for the red foots because they don't lay as much. So to save space, we do it like this. Now I'm gonna do something I barely ever do and that's wash the egg because I don't want this blood going bad in there. Actually, that's not coming out. There we go, the other ones are gonna stay normal. So there we go, the first three eggs from the new sulcatas. Now I'm gonna go back and get the other eggs from the other tortoise. Or did I say sulcata, I meant the first, the new redfoots. All right, so I think she's about to drop the eggs now. You can see her little tail is moving around in there. Let's see. Oh, she already has eggs in there. Yep, just dropped another one. How many? Two so far that I can see. Big boys, too. Actually, they might be the same size as the other ones. Oh, man. Let's see, hopefully she lays a lot of eggs. She's dropping eggs like if she was a sulcata. She's already on four eggs and the nest is already full. She should be good. Yeah. She's uh, struggling with it, then we'll take out the eggs, but we'll see. Look at that, beautiful. Just kicking the eggs. Why is she moving them so much though? I don't know, she might lay more. Should we or she's trying take to them out? Yep, yeah, let's take them out here. Do I lift her? Nope. Yeah. 
I could stay on here with my children. Or your children. Is there more? Viewers, children. These are some big eggs here. Oh, look at the size of that one. They don't even fit in here. They're solid. Whoa. Damn, bro. Let me see the chunky mother. Scared that she was gonna crack them, so I pulled them out. She was kicking them pretty hard. Yeah, I think she's done. All right, there we go. All the eggs are in the incubator now, and these are the three new ones. And you can see how big these eggs are. So, like I said earlier, the larger females sometimes lay less eggs, and they lay bigger ones. This is kind of what happened in this case. And these eggs are super heavy compared to the other ones. They feel very heavy. And um, I kind of wanted her to lay more eggs. You know, she was a really big female. I was expecting more because she dug a really big hole. But she only dropped these three. And that's fine. You know, it's not a big deal. But pretty cool. I can't wait to see these babies. They're going to be massive babies. All right, so these guys are now in the incubator. And these babies are going to be ready to come out really soon. Let's check these guys out. We got a little dark one over here. Let's check this guy out. I haven't actually seen this one yet. Hey, stop pissing at me, dude. Look at that. He still has a good amount of the yolk sac in there. And you can see this guy's shell is a little weird. And that actually uh, straightens out after a while. He's got a lot of vermiculite all over his face. So let's put this guy back in here. Let him relax. and see this one. All right, so this guy's going to be ready to come out of the incubator soon. I'm going to take these guys out tomorrow because right now it's like 1.30 in the morning. And this guy's already ready to come out as well. So this guy's the only one. And this egg, I don't think this egg is going to hatch out. But I'm going to leave it in here. Move it over here so these guys don't mess with it. And um, like I said earlier, I really want to see how those other, uh, those eggs laid from the wild caught female, the big female. Look, because those babies, I feel like they're going to be very pretty. Oh, she has really bright colors. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you all subscribe. Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. You didn't, leave some suggestions in the comments for a future video. Got a couple ideas for some future videos. And I've been trying to upload every other day, but that's probably going to stop real soon because I am running low on ideas. But I'm trying to upload as much as I can, trying to grind it out even just for fun, you know, because I like making YouTube, but... I don't like making pointless videos, so I just record little things that happen, little things that I do, but lately, I've been doing a lot, so. Yeah, you guys are going to enjoy the next few videos, hopefully. I got another group of tortoises that you guys are going to see probably in the next video. Um, I'm trying to think now. Yeah, I think I just have one more video right now that I got to edit and upload in a few days, two days, hopefully. So I'm going to see because I want to get, I have, a, I bought a bunch of tortoises. And I'm trying to make like one video with all of them in it. So I have another one, another order that might go through. And if that does, then I'll see. Because I'm going to see if I can get them tomorrow. It's two more um, adult tortoises. I'm not going to tell you the species, but you guys see it in the video. So it's over 30 right now. And we'll see how this ends up. The video should be around 30-something th uh, tortoises. Right now it's at 37 that I got. Um, so make sure you guys subscribe so that you see that.